the Pinecone Vector Upsert component lets you convert data stored in your cloud data warehouse into embeddings and then store these embeddings as vectors in your Pinecone Vector database. In this example, we'll take a table of Matillion Data Productivity Cloud documentation, convert this data into embeddings by using an OpenAI embedding model, then store these embeddings as vectors in a Pinecone database. OK, so let's set this up. After adding a Pinecone Vector Upsert component to the canvas of an orchestration pipeline, then open up the component properties. And under the source section, select a table from your cloud data warehouse, which contains the data you wish to be vectorized. So in this example, this is a table containing our component documentation, which you can see here in this table called Matillion Component Docs. Choose the key column, then select the text column. This is the column containing the data you wish to be converted into embeddings and then upserted to your Pinecone Vector database. In the Embeddings API section, select your embedding provider. The embedding provider is the API service used to convert the search term into a vector. In this example, we'll use OpenAI. Then we need to select the correct secret definition for our OpenAI account. Under Embedding Model, select the model you wish to use. In this example, this will be Text Embedding ADA002. Next, we need to choose the correct Pinecone environment, project, index, and namespace for our embeddings to be stored. So under the Destination section, you need to enter these details. And to find this destination in Pinecone, log into your account, and then go to Projects in the left sidebar. Here click the correct project tile, and this will open a list of vector search indexes in your project. Each vector search index has the environment displayed in the tile. Then clicking into an index, your namespaces are displayed here. And for this example, we're going to use the demo component docs namespace. Now back in the component properties, make sure the details for the environment, project, index and namespace match those from your Pinecone account. Okay, so now we've defined our source data, our embedding model and the Pinecone location to store these embeddings as vectors. We can validate and run the pipeline to upsert the data. Once this is run successfully, we can go back to our Pinecone account and under the correct project, index and namespace, if we refresh our data, our vectors are now here. These vectors are now available to use in future projects, such as using retrieval augmented generation through one of Matillion's AI prompt components. For more Data Productivity Cloud videos, please subscribe to the channel. And to get started with Matillion, visit matillion.com.